But if you truly know the best method, like the Kuan Yin method, which is the only method that leads to Buddhahood, then you are highly enlightened. Then you truly understand your religion and all religions is true. All the methods can possibly give you liberation and not return you to suffering, birth, life, sickness, and death. But it won't give you Buddhahood. Some could even take many lifetimes. The Buddha also admitted that. That's why he gathered 25 Arhat, great masters of that time, to teach, to explain, expound to his uh, beloved attendant, Ananda, about which method is the best. Thereupon, the Tathagata said to Manjusri, son of the Dharma king, these 25 bodhisattvas and arhats who no longer need to study and learn have related the expedient methods used by them at the start of their practice for their realization of bodhi. In reality, each of these methods does not differ from and is neither superior nor inferior to the others. Tell me which one of them is suitable to Ananda so that he can awaken to it and which one is easy of achievement for the benefit of living beings who, after my nirvana, wish to practice with the bodhisattva vehicle in their search for supreme bodhi. I now submit to the world-honored one that all Buddhas in this world appear to teach the most appropriate method, which consists in using pervasive sound. The state of samadhi can be realized by means of hearing. Thus was Avalokitesvara freed from suffering. Hail to the regarder of sound, who, during eons countless as Ganges sand, entered as many Buddha lands to win the power and comfort of his independence and bestow fearlessness upon all living beings. O you who have achieved the sound profound, the seer of sound of sound the purifier, who, unfailing as the sound of ocean tides, saves all beings in the world, make them secure, ensure their liberation and attainment of eternity. Excerpts from the Surangama Sutra